So let's look at the epidemiology of chronic cough. How common is chronic cough? Chronic cough is actually not very common. And if you remember that is cough, which is lasting more than eight weeks. According to studies done globally, uh, we find that somewhere 10 to 5 to 10% of the adult population has chronic cough. Okay? Now, I try to look where are the studies of chronic cough in Uganda? And I'm going to tell you that. But probably what we know, that the cough is more common in females, okay? It peaks around the fifth to the sixth decades, mainly in the old people. That is chronic cough. When it comes to acute cough, this see the demography, the age changes, because they, they, the children have more of the chronic cough. Now, when you look at data in Uganda, I came across this paper published in 1971 by P.G. Smith. So uh, in 1971, P.G. Smith went to that time it was called the Lango Subreton. Of course, now there are many districts in there. And he surveyed 1,172 people in the community. So what he found that people who had a chronic cough were 4% of males and 4.2% of females. That is a cough of greater than four weeks. That is subacute. For chronic cough, he found that actually chronic cough was higher in females at 9.8% uh, and 6.5% uh, of, of, uh, of males when he took those ones above 50. Again, confirming that chronic cough is common in females and cough per se, we can discuss that if we have time, but also in the elderly. In the small graphs, you can see on the side, I'm sorry you may not be able to see this. I just put this here for illustration. In 2014, we conducted what we call the National TB Prevalence Survey, where we interviewed 40,000 people in this country, all over the country. And what did we find? We found that people who had a cough per se, okay, were 2,000, um, uh, uh, um, 2,333, and as you can see, we found that people, those ones who had a, a chronic cough of more than eight weeks were about 600. And as you can see in the small table below, when you get to these slides, the prevalence of cough in those ones who had chronic and no chronic cough, I mean of TB, because we're looking for TB, was almost the same. So what am I saying? The take-home message you have to take from here, that who chronic cough is not very common, okay? But it is a source of discomfort. It's around 5%.